Okay, let's take a quick look at how we can use the new Google Forms to create a flipped classroom homework assignment. In your browser, search for Google Forms and go to the first link to take you to the main page for Google Forms. Tap on the blue button and you will be in your form library. This is where you would see any past forms that you may have made. To create a new form, tap on the red plus button. This brings you into the brand new Google Forms editor. Step one would be to give our form a title, Mars Video Homework Assignment. And in the description, I generally like to give some instructions for the assignment. Please watch the video and answer the questions. I usually like to make the first question first name and the second question last name just because it will make grading and assessing student work easier later on. So for the first question, I'm going to type first name. Now I can't have this as a multiple choice question, so I'm going to use this drop down to make it a short answer question. And I want to make it required so that all students have to fill this question out. And my first question is all set. Now my second question is going to be last name. So I could either add the plus button to add that second question, or since it's going to be very similar to this first question, I can use this icon right here to duplicate this first question, which is what I did. And all I have to do now is change first to last. So now I have first name and last name. And just please note that you can actually use these two lines right here to drag and reorder questions if you ever want to do that. Now, I also want to have some more identifying information. For example, maybe I want to know the student's class period. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new question. And this, I think it would make sense to have as a multiple choice question. So let's call it class period colon. And then each option would be a period. Period one, period two, period three, period four. And let's also make this a required question. Perfect. Now I can add the video. And this is one of the nice new features of the brand new version of Google Forms is right here on the side I have this icon which allows you to add a video directly from YouTube. So I'm going to tap on that and it brings up a video search. I could, if I know the URL for the specific video, I could enter that here, but I like to use the YouTube search right here. I'm going to add a TED Ed video on Mars. And this is the one I want, so I'm going to select it and tap the blue button, and the video appears right in my form. I'm going to give it a title, TED Ed, Would You Move to Mars? And there's my video. Now the final thing is the assignment. I could certainly ask three or four multiple choice questions or fill in the blank questions or select from a list, any type of questions. Um, but I'm going to choose one open-ended question so students have an opportunity to really reflect on the video once they've watched it. So I'm going to tap the plus button and I'm going to make this a paragraph answer. Gives the students some more room to type. What are some of the challenges of living on Mars? And I'm going to make this to a required question. And that's it. My form is complete. The video is embedded. I have some identifying information. And I'm all set to go. Now, a couple other options here. I can use this palette icon to change the color and uh, layout of my form. I can also upload a custom image if I like. Uh, I'm going to go with red since we're talking about Mars. And then I'm going to go into the gear here and we can mess with some of the settings. By default, anyone with an mamkschools.org email can respond to this form. If I want, I can turn that off and open it up to anyone, but I'm going to leave that as specifically for our school domain. Keep in mind though, in order for students to complete this assignment, they have to be logged in to their MAMK Schools account. So it actually might be easier to just open this up to anyone. That's up to you. Uh, I do want students to only submit one response, but again, that option only works if students are logged in. I'm going to have students logged in to do this form, so I can select that as an option. 
Once the students have completed the form, you can give them a custom message here. Great job. We'll discuss this in class tomorrow. I can give them a link to submit an additional response, which I don't want to do now. I can let them edit, which I don't want to do. And I can let them see a summary of all responses, which I also don't want them to do. If it were a longer form, I might show them a progress bar so they could see how long, far along they are. And if it were an in-class quiz, I might select to shuffle the question order so that everyone's form looked a little bit different and it lessened the chances of cheating. When you're done, tap Save. And we can preview this form by tapping on the I icon on the top of the screen. And this is what it will look like for students. Space for first name, last name, class period. They can watch the movie from right within this. They can also make it full screen if they'd like. And they can respond to the short answer question before hitting submit at the bottom of the page. To get back into the edit mode, I'm going to tap on the pencil. And there's a couple other settings I'd like to change here. I'm going to go to this more icon here. And I'd like to look at the add collaborators tab. Now this is nice in case you would like to add other teachers who could use this form as well. And you can enter their emails and give them editing rights or viewing rights. Okay. Once you have the settings exactly the way you like them, you can then share this. And to share it, you would tap on the send link. And you can share it via email, via a link, which you can post on any number of different sites, or you can even embed the form within a blog or another website. I'm actually going to share this form through my Google Classroom. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me head over to my Google Classroom and log into my Earth Science Classroom. Here we go. And I'm going to create a new assignment. And we're going to call it Mars Video Homework. I could add a description if I want and add a due date if I want. I'm going to leave those off for now. And I'm going to go into my Google Drive to attach this form. So I go into the drive. And right here, Mars Video Homework Assignment. I know it's a form because it has the purple form icon. And I tap on the Add button. And there's my form. And so now I can assign this to anyone enrolled in my Earth Science class. OK, so now let's see what this looks like from the student perspective. I'm now signed in as a student, and I'm going to go into my Earth Science classroom. Again, remember, this is the student view. And I see this Mars video homework assignment. So I can simply tap on this link, and it takes me right out to the form where I can enter my information. I can view the video, and I can answer the question. And when I'm done, I can tap on Submit. And you'll notice that says your homework assignment has been completed. Great job. We'll discuss this in class tomorrow. OK. And I'm going to open the assignment back in Google Classroom. And I can see that it is done because it's marked done right here. So now I'm going to go back in as a teacher to see what that form submission looks like. Here's that assignment. OK. And I can see that one student is done. And to see that work, I can actually tap on the form. And it will take me out to the form so I can see what the form looks like. And I can go into the edit view and responses, and I can see all the responses of my students. See, I can see Ann Fox, the period they submitted, and the response to the short answer question. Now, the really nice way to look at this is not within this view, but to actually tap on this Create Spreadsheet view. All right, so I want to create a new spreadsheet for that assignment. And what it will do is it will dump all student responses directly into this spreadsheet. And what's nice about that is it tells me the exact time and date that the student completed the form. And I will have a list of first names, last names, class periods, and all of the short answer responses. And of course, all of these columns, like in a spreadsheet, can be sorted alphabetically so that I can go through and view all of my uh, student work alphabetically or by class period, etc. It's a very quick and easy way to have students respond to a video.
using a form.